Hello everyone, this is Aaron Alsup. It's discussion board one, part three. Um, I'm gonna answer the questions that we were given, so here I go. Number one, why is netiquette essential in a virtual environment? Netiquette's essential because it keeps things professional and respectful in our classroom. You never wanna hurt someone's feelings and it's easy to take things the wrong way, especially in an online discussion board setting. If you disagree with someone, politely disagree, but don't ever lash out or be rude or say harsh things to them. Um, that can get you in a lot of trouble, especially with your teacher. It can get you kicked out of your college, and that's not a good thing. Or it could possibly even lead to greater consequences like getting in trouble with the law. And nobody wants that. So just use an etiquette and everything will go great this semester. Um, Question two is, list three reasons why learners tend to abandon etiquette while sending harsh emails or posts, inappropriate, rude, or inflammatory comments on discussion board. I would say one reason why learners abandon netiquette when they're sending emails is they feel anxious because the teacher has not responded to their emails, so they will constantly bombard her every five minutes. Why haven't you responded? I need an answer. I need an answer. Just remember that our teacher has two days to respond to emails, and she will honor your email, so just hang out, and you'll get an answer. I would say reason number two is people will wait till the last minute and have a technical difficulty. And then they will get mad at the teacher because she will not accept their late grade when that was in fact their problem for waiting long and not giving themselves a cushion. And they'll start to panic. Um, reason three is a student could get offended by something another person says in the classroom and react in a harsh way. And that's never a good idea. Just keep your comments to yourself. If you need to go step away from the computer for a second, it's totally fine. Just come back with a clean mindset and never respond harshly to another. That could be very... What's the word I'm looking for? It's just not a good thing. Don't do it. <laughs> um, how often does your instructor respond to emails or questions about the discussion boards? Um, she will respond within two business days. That's what the um, syllabus says. Um, what are your instructor's office hours and what is the best method, method to reach her? Our instructor's office hours are online only, Mondays 2 through 4. And they are by appointment only, so make sure if you need to reach her, you reach her by sending her an email for an appointment. Um, emails are the best way to reach her. Assuming you may feel anxious for any reason during the semester, does it make you feel more comfortable that your instructor honors the date and time you contact her via email? Is it nice to know that? Um, I would say it's definitely nice to see nice to know that our instructor will honor when we send her an email because I've had professors where I'll send them an email and you never know if you're going to get a response back or not and it makes me makes me anxious because I never know if I have the correct answer or not when I don't get an answer back so it's nice to know that she will and it definitely comes for, comforts me knowing that I'll have a teacher that will honor my emails um what is the next question Sorry. Um, question three. Oh, it's just okay. Um, so this is a statement I need to say, and I agree to principles of netiquette and respectful communication and the student code of conduct. And I just wanted to say I hope y'all all have a good semester and good luck.